and welcome to Not So Daft Game Craft. I'm in a world that a guy gave me a question about a couple of months ago. I think it was late September. He just got back to me to confirm those were indeed his coordinates. He's having a nether problem, so I thought, hey, let's do another nether video because <laughs> it's fun. Uh, I'm going to try and take a chance at his handle. I think it's, I think it's Max Zock. M-A-X-Z-O-Q. This is his world. Uh, he said he built his portal at spawn. We're in creative, so we're just going to go ahead and roll. First things first, there's the sun. All right, I go through this a lot with people. I've done several nether videos. I've built nether portals. As clear as I'm about to say this, please listen to this and understand that what I'm about to say will generate the following questions in and the comments section. Hey man, but how do I know which way is east in the nether? Wait for it, it's going to happen. That's the sun, guys. Sun rises in the east. Very simple. That makes that the west. Are we following here? There's the east. And like a picture frame, I'm going to make my nether portal facing into the rising and setting sun. And like a door, once you go through the door, you come through the other side facing the same direction. You leave the overworld running east, you will enter the nether running east. Nether fortresses run on a north-south line. So if you go east and west, you're bound to intersect them. If you go north and south, you'll never find anything. And the lines are broken running north to south, so you do have to look around a bit, or you might find yourself slipping between fortress sections. And that means once you find a fortress, just keep going north or south. Um, and you will find more and more fortress. For those people who say to me, hey, I didn't get nether wart. There was no nether wart in this fortress. You're on a tiny section. You just gotta keep going north or keep going south. You'll discover more and more and more. So those are the basic tricks. I hope the diagrams worked. Let's go into this guy's nether. We'll start the clock figure out how quickly we can find a nether fortress. I am in creative, it's a bit cheaty, but I'm telling you on foot, without being able to fly or anything, you will still have these successes. Let's go. In my defense, from up there, that looks like enough. All right. See the gate? We now know that like a picture frame, that's the sun's path, north, east, west, okay? So here we are. Let's see. I'm gonna pretend I'm in survival, so we're just gonna walk for a while. Yeah, like that's gonna work kind of cool because I, I I've got another game I'm going through another uh, set of videos where I'm trying to see how quickly I can get to the nether safely you know I got to have all the gear I got to have all my stuff this stuff hurt I don't know now like I say you gotta take the time to cast your gaze north and south just in case you're just missing it. Another. Thankfully, this giant column of whatever is a pretty obvious. Uh, target. Now, here's what's going to happen. Let's pretend we're frustrated and this is too much for us. Okay. We wandered over there and in real gameplay, this would have taken quite a few minutes. Yeah. 
the hell is this? Oh, I thought that was my nether gate. You know what? I'm not going to look. I'm saving this for my video. That's some kind of a treasure. There's my gate. I know. I call them nether gates, guys. Just please let me be stupid on that one thing. I know. It's a portal. So this is the other direction. How far do we got to go? See some snow. Another... Man, I'm telling the nether is a trip. Wow. You know what, dude? You got a bad one, I'll tell you that. But it's never impossible. It's just a question of how long you want to wander. There's some weird stuff out here, man. I haven't played in like a year. Yeah, I like the nether now. It looks like the end, but in color. The end is a bit boring. I don't play for the end. If I kill an ender dragon, I kill the world. It's done. There we are. Wow. This is a haul. It is a good distance out, but I, I stayed straight. When I do these discovery videos, I try to shoot in a straight line because you start wandering a, a, a whole heck around to try and show somebody where something is. How are they going to copy that back? I should be able just to turn around and go straight back now. There it is. Yeah, it's not too bad. I mean, it's going to be a trek, dude. All right, we're back at spawn. And there's our gate. <laughs> Portal. You saw how far we had to walk. Um, we had to fly in the game you said you built your portal here i'm wondering did you build your world here because if everything you have is here you're just gonna have to make some tunnels and build some pathways in the sky however if you haven't committed yet and you're free to travel here's what i recommend you do that number 41 there that's our current uh east west coordinate So here's our um, our overworld coordinates. Let's go check our nether coordinates. Okay. 1576, negative 5. All right. So we said the fortress was the other way. Yes. West, it looks like. Okay, there's the fortress. Let's find a great spot. Like, what would be an awesome spot to have your portal at? Um, let's check these coordinates, by the way. We were at 4569.10. We're at 698 by 135. So, everything is worth eight in the overworld. So, 698 minus... Forty-five. We've gone six hundred fifty-three blocks in the Nether, or five thousand two hundred on the surface. Wow. Ah. Uh, gosh. That's going to take some time. It's going to take some time. Not long. Not long. I think you can walk it in Minecraft days. You know, ten-minute daytime chunks. I don't know. 
an hour, I guess, real time. Let's find a good spot. That's a decent spot for a gate. You're gonna have to do this, of course, with bad guys all over, so you better come geared if this is your uh, chosen path to follow, but we've made a safe space. You have to have a gap, or you'll walk into the wall, basically. Okay, now, our coordinates here. So this, this is our position here. So, we go through the gate. <laughs> well, of course, why not? It's not too bad though, eh? All right, guys, there's east. We came from the, we came west, so we have to go east. You can see right now we are 5,600 blocks from spawn. So if what you wanna do is have a, um, a base where you can go right to your gate and straight back to the nether over and over again, you're gonna have to come to this position. Let's fast travel uh, back to base. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Do you know how hard it is to find a woodland mansion? I have never accidentally found one in my own worlds. But I just stumbled across this one. Hey dude, you really should. I, I wouldn't even go to your nether fortress. I'd take this 5,000 block journey and pick this guy up. Here's your coordinates. Have some fun along the way. Let's keep traveling. Yeah, you could totally come this direction, set your base up here, and pick all this stuff up along the way. I think that's better. You might want to make note of these coordinates. There's a village. And again, another village. Nice. Okay, here's what I see for you. <clears throat> Normally I'd say, hey, take the quick journey in the nether. Just get to that fortress once, once, and take enough obsidian and uh, a fire starter and box yourself in at that set spot. And you can build a base there and that's pretty simple. Um, another thing to do is though, hey, that's probably a couple of hours of gameplay. Uh, there's no massive oceans to cross, just small bodies of water. And just make your way, I would say, north, northwest. Or is it, no, sorry, it's west. We're going west. It's, it's west, west, north. How's that go? West, northwest? I don't know. You're heading mostly north with a touch of west. <laughs> You're heading mostly west. Uh, with a touch of north uh, thrown in for good measure because that woodland mansion is on the way you can loot that set up base do some work on the side and then get yourself down into that cave set up a portal build a room and hey presto you can come and go to the nether as frequently as you like um, and the journey would be fun that's what I would do uh, I don't know if you think of it as cheating I do <laughs> With all that I've done in your world, if uh, if somebody were to offer that to me, I'd say, eh, hard pass. I, I like the discovery part, but uh, this was fun. So anyway, your nether fortress, not a terrible trip in the nether. Really. Not great either, but not terrible. And your overland trip 
to the same spot, monstrously large, but two villages on the way and a woodland mansion. And to me, that's a no brainer if you're looking for fun. All right, thank you for watching Not So Daft Gamecraft. Gosub checks out somebody else's nether. I have been Gosub, you've been great.